Oh, what's going on guys? I have been craving peach cobbler like you would not believe, but it's January. Peaches are not in season right now. Can you make a good peach cobbler without fresh Georgia peaches? Yeah, you can, and I'm gonna do it for you today. It's super easy, five ingredients, five minutes of prep time, you got a fantastic peach cobbler waiting for you in about an hour after the oven. So that sounds good to you. Definitely sounds good to me. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Let's get to cooking. All right, guys. Ingredients are super simple. I'd be willing to bet you've probably got a few of them in your house already. So one second, let me grab the rest of them. Like I said, five ingredients, you've probably got at least, I'd say probably three of them in your house already. And those would be sugar, regular white sugar, cinnamon, butter. Probably have them already. If you don't, easy enough. The two other ingredients is cake mix and peaches, because it's peach cobbler, you're gonna need peaches. Um, in terms of cake mix, I went with Betty Crocker yellow cake mix. You can do whatever you like. If you've got a preference, go with what you like. Does not matter whatsoever, but it's gotta be a cake mix. It's easy, it's fast, simple. You can make it from scratch, but the whole point of this is it's supposed to be a quick recipe, so why would I do that? And then peaches. You've got a couple options here. I went with just fresh, frozen peaches, nothing extra in there at all. I've let them defrost in the fridge overnight, so all their juices are sitting on the bottom right here, and we're going to include all of that into the recipe. I bought two bags. I don't know that I'm going to need two bags. That might be a little too much. Um, we'll see, we're gonna see. In terms of a baking dish, that's also where you have some options. So I think I'm gonna go with a nine by nine. Technically, you can do a nine by 13, um, but I'm doing something a little different. So. 9 by 13, you're going to have two layers. You're going to have the peaches on the bottom, cake mix on the top. That's it. 9 by 9, I'm going to have way more cake mix than I need for that. So I'm going to do a layer of cake mix on the bottom to be like crust. And then peaches in the middle, more cake mix on top. It'll be almost like a peach cobbler bar, almost. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds good in my head. Let's give it a try. What we got to do, we got to melt our butter. So two full sticks of unsalted butter. Gonna go right on into, it doesn't need to be a measuring cup, but some kind of high walled container that's microwave safe. Okay. Easy enough, pop the butter in the microwave, let it melt till it is completely liquid. We'll start with, uh, let's do 30 seconds. And then while that's going, get your cake mix out, pour it into a good sized bowl. Enough, right on in there. As Soon as the butter is melted, we're gonna combine it into here, mix it together until it is like wet sand consistency, and then we'll go from there. Got our cake mix, all of it's going in. By the way, if it's not already abundantly clear, no, this is not a low calorie dessert, but you know what? Desserts aren't meant to be low calorie. Get out of here with that nonsense. All right, take a whisk. You're not gonna be able to do the whole thing with the whisk because it's gonna get too crumbly at a certain point. But to start, just get it nice and combined. Okay. So, what we're gonna do, take our nine by nine, grab us some kitchen gloves so I don't get all buttery. And we're gonna put about half of that cake mixture into the bottom there. Just enough to cover the base. We can set this behind us with, this is 16 ounces of frozen peaches. I'm gonna go with one bag first, see how it looks. I think this may be enough to cover our dish, but it is peach cobbler after all. We want it to be extra peachy. So. 
Did I say two? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to do the second bowl. It's going to be a very, very full bowl, but that's okay. Okay. Quite a bit of cinnamon in. And I think that's going to make it really stand out, go over the top a little bit. Because who doesn't love cinnamon in their peach cobbler? All right, once again, give this a really quick mix with your hand, just so that the sugar's not granulated anymore, basically. And if you have a bigger bowl, this will work a lot better. But unfortunately, my other big bowl is dirty. So we're going to have to use this one for right now. And all of this is going on top. And yes, it is a lot of peaches. The whole point of this was to get a really good, thick, just beautiful looking cross section. Um, if you want to do a 9 by 13, that's totally fine. And this should be enough to do that. But it's going to be way thinner and way less pretty for the, you know, the Instagram pictures. So if you're serving a bigger crowd, I recommend doing the 9 by 13. I'm not, this will make about nine servings for me. I'll bring the extras to work. And uh, this is perfect. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this is not what the cake mix was supposed to look like. You do want, um, what should I call it? You want it to be like crumbly almost. So I put too much butter in, that's on me. I think, one and a half sticks of butter is what I was supposed to do. I put two sticks, so it's okay. The bright side is there's so much butter, it'll spread out a bit while it's baking, so. Hey, you know, uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the oven to heat up, you could totally go and hit that subscribe button and leave a like, because that would be pretty cool. Hey, so I just looked up my... Uh, key lime pie dump cake recipe because that was the the template i was going off of for the crumble part yeah it was supposed to be one stick of butter not two so i'm gonna have to do extra cardio this week uh it's gonna taste really good though but for you guys use one stick and and maybe reference that key lime pie dump cake video to to see what it's supposed to look like and i'll leave a link for that in the description below too My cardiologist one day is gonna love me for this. Everybody say hello to Jackson. <laughs> you can tell he's sleepy because that tongue is sticking out a little bit. I'm sorry I woke you up. He's pissed. He's also hoping that I dropped some food for him, right? Yeah. Everybody say hi to Jackson in the comments. It's time. All right, so usually when I put one of these in the oven, I say anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, which is a crazy wide range. Usually it's on the back end of that, so I'm gonna say probably 40 to 45 minutes, but if something changes, I'll let you know. I'm gonna set my timer for 40 minutes and check it then. Timer has gone off. I did give it an extra five minutes, so instead of 40 minutes, I did 45 minutes just because I wanted the top to get a, maybe a little bit more brown, but I think all that extra butter is going to kind of prevent that from happening. So doesn't matter. It smells amazing in here and it's done. Oh yeah, that looks, wow, that looks good. <laughs> and it did brown actually. That just did brown up a little bit. I'm happy. Very happy with that. Golly, that looks good. Oh wow. Can you hear the bubbling? Oh my God. I might've, I might've just done something. Um, we gotta let this cool for like at least half an hour, probably longer than that. It's always the hard part. I can never do it, but I'm gonna do it today. I need the cross section to be 
So we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait the full time. I'll even throw it in the fridge if I have to, but we're gonna let it cool. I'll see you back here when I see you. All right, I was a man of my word today. I actually let this cool in the fridge for like two hours. And then I just nuked it, threw some ice cream on top and it's getting all nice and nice and melty in there. Um, mine is quite gooey and kind of mushy looking. And that is because I doubled the butter. So I already talked about that, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. Yours will look different than this if you just use the one stick of butter. Um, it should be actual layers and it should be like pretty obvious differentiation between the cake and the peaches. So it's gonna taste good regardless. And if you want more calories for some reason, do the two sticks of butter like I did. But technically one stick of butter, that'll be good. Regardless, let's give this bad boy a taste. Wow. Oh my God. You know what? Maybe you, if you don't care how it looks, screw it. Do the two sticks of butter because this thing is wild. That is ridiculous. You know, if you're making this and you don't care at all how it looks, screw it. Put the two sticks of butter in. You will not regret it. I'm gonna go get a room with this bad boy. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let my beautiful fiance Kate dig into this as well when she gets back from a walk with Jackson. So uh, I'm gonna cut the video here. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.